Now, a large number of Kenyans graduating from universities and technical college lack skills that would enable them to get jobs in the international labor market. Despite the efforts of the Kenya Kwanzaa government to promote the labor migration project, the key issue troubling stakeholders, including employment agents, is that Kenyans are seeking jobs lack the critical education to be productive in the digital economy. President William Ruto has been at the forefront advocating for the project of sending Kenyans abroad to seek jobs, this being his alternative way to fulfill his election promises. I have signed a bilateral agreement with Saudi, UAE, with Germany, with Canada, and many other countries we are exploring possibilities. And for your information, as a result of those what I have been doing, between now and next month, January, the first 10,000 Kenyans will be leaving to go and work in foreign countries so that they can support themselves and support Kenya, because many countries have established a strategy on how to grow, our, uh, to grow their foreign exchange earnings. But the president's efforts to solve the unemployment problem have been dealt a blow as players in the job market have expressed frustration that job seekers lack adequate skills. As we go knocking doors abroad for these opportunities to be opened up to our Kenyan youth, it is imperative. It is critical that we know the kind of skills that obtain in our country. According to Labor Secretary Shadrach Madime, job opportunities exist, but only for those who meet employers' requirements abroad. Some of our graduates are not able to meet the requirements of the, some of the industries that we have. It is critical then that we do an analysis and see whether, where there are gaps so that we can be able to address these gaps comprehensively together with the educational institutions that we have. Kenyans who have uh, trained in medicine, nursing, engineering, architecture, agriculture, banking, teaching, transportation, and we also have skilled artisans that can be able to work in the construction sites in the Kingdom of Saudi. We are working towards integrating our system known as the Near Aims into the Muslim-led uh, system so that we can work toge together even better. The system has reduced the cost of recruitment. It has also created transparency and eliminated any brokers and middlemen in the recruitment process. So through this system, we are able to trace the journey of a migrant worker right from when we identify them from here until the process is done, until they are sent to your country for work. Following the president's directive, the Labour Ministry launched a portal where Kenyans, especially the youth who are most affected, have been urged to register to enable the government assess their capabilities in various sectors. The reason why we want to collect this data is basically to ensure that our young people then gain employment. As I said, not only locally, but also abroad. If it is locally, it's in terms of where there are gaps so that we can sit with the educational institutions and advise them on how they should go about addressing those gaps so as to produce polished you know, graduates who will then be able to fit into the market you know, without the challenges that we are facing as it is currently. All eyes are now on the government to see if this new initiative will provide a lasting solution. President William Ruto has called for unity